in the past three days, we've gotten some interesting news, you could say, out of the amusement industry. And take it as you will, but I'm just going to jump right into it. Carnival Cruise Lines announced this brand new roller coaster that they're going to be introducing called Bolt Ultimate Sea Coaster. You gotta love that uh, tagline they put on it, Ultimate Sea Coaster. But basically, this is going to be a model by Mauer Rides called a Spike Coaster. And I don't really know a whole lot about this coaster, and it appears that there's only one that has been built to date. It opened in 2017 in Germany, and that one is called Sky Dragster. It's a pretty small ride. Um, it looks fairly thrilling, but more of like a, a family type thing, I guess. And it's not really a coaster in the traditional sense. I mean, there's debate among enthusiasts about whether it can be considered a credit or not, whatever. I don't care that much. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it, it'll be a coaster credit. But it doesn't rely on gravity solely. It is powered to some extent. Um, to which extent exactly, I'm not really sure. But I watched a, vi uh, a POV of Sky Dragster. And even though it's very short, I gotta say, it looks like a, it looks like it'd be a pretty fun ride. Nothing extraordinary. And since it is going on a cruise ship, it's not going to be, you know, this huge, gigantic, uh, you know, screen machine like a B&M or something like that. It's not going to be anything outstanding as far as the ride experience goes. But I think it'll be really cool, the views that you're going to be getting from this ride. So you're going to be going, not super fast, but it, it looks like these things reach 30 to 40 miles an hour maybe and you're going to be flying around that track and according to carnival cruise lines this is going to be 187 feet above sea level so you're going to be getting some great views and that's going to be a pretty thrilling experience overall i think so um while it's not the most thrilling ride i think it's really cool it, you could say it, it's a gimmick in a way which okay it, yeah Fair enough, but it looks pretty fun. That is the Bolt Ultimate Sea Coaster coming to Carnival Cruise Line in 2020. Another announcement that I found out about just yesterday that I wanted to go over. It has not got a whole lot of attention as far as I've seen, but it appears that the infamous Japanese roller coaster manufacturer Togo is staging a comeback and i found out about this actually through theme park crazy he put a post in his community tab yesterday and it reads attention it looks like togo is planning a comeback with two new roller coaster models one is a spinning coaster and the other is a stand-up coaster possibly also a spinning coaster however the website is in japanese and only images are given which cannot be auto-translated. And then he just goes on to ask if somebody could translate it, you know, and email him. I went to Togo's website myself to take a look at these. It It's pretty interesting. I don't know... Yeah, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I mean, nobody would have seen this coming, I don't think. And it's not... Togo is kind of mysterious. I tried doing some of my own research on them before doing this video. And I've tried actually researching them in the past too, just out of curiosity. And there's not a whole lot of information about them. I mean, I know that they went bankrupt apparently in about 2002, I believe, when Knott's Berry Farm sued them over the Windjammer Surf Racers, the, that awful looping wild mouse thing that they had that had all kinds of issues and togo is a manufacturer um i probably don't have to introduce them to a lot of enthusiasts but if you don't know who togo is they formed in 1935 and got into the business of roller coaster manufacturing i believe they built their first coaster in 1953 
And the last brand new roller coaster that they built was around 2000, I want to say. But ever since 2002 or so, like I said earlier, they've been defunct. And, you know, they have this website now that is in Japanese, so I, I can't read it. But they have these new concepts posted. And the first one we look at, it shows a picture of these spinning cars. And there's sort of this diagram of the layout. And it looks like it's going to be based off of a wild mouse in a way. But then just like some helixes and small bumps after that. So a pretty typical like family type spinning coaster. And then this... Um, the stand-up coaster, which apparently also might be a spinning coaster, which would be really interesting. And to be honest, it just it sounds kind of awful to me. I mean, stand-up coasters have not been popular for a very long time and for a good reason. And Togo was pretty infamous for their stand-up coasters that they've had. A couple of them are still operating. Some have been relocated and everything. There's none left in the United States. In fact, the only Togo roller coaster left remaining in the United States operating is uh, the very infamous uh, Big Apple coaster at the uh, New York Casino in Las Vegas. And, you know, that ride is known for just being very rough and just beating the hell out of you. I mean, it, it looks awful. But anyway, in Japan, it's interesting because Togo's reputation is much more solid and some of the coasters that they made in Japan look really awesome, like that Bandit coaster at Yomari Land, and what's it called? The the Hyper coaster that they built um, at Fuji Q Highland, Fujiyama. I mean, I think that ride looks great. Very very good looking ride, I think. Um, not not like top tier, but very good. And when it opened, it was the tallest, fastest coaster in, on the planet, which. Kind of crazy to think about. Togo Togo made that ride. But I think this is very interesting. And I'm surprised it's not getting more exposure yet. Because I feel like this is kind of a, a big deal. Some might call it meme-worthy in the coaster community. That Togo is making a comeback in 2018. And it looks like these concepts that they have. I mean, it doesn't really look like they're pushing any boundaries. Like, I don't know how they're going to survive in this current roller coaster market with all you know all these new developments that have come out in recent years i just don't know how togo can make it and these concepts that they have which are just these crazy things that you know maybe they'll prove us wrong but it looks like they're just these crazy concepts like they used to do that did not pan out very well in the past and they sure as hell i don't think will pan out very well now with all the technology that we have now all the developments that have been made with RMCs and wooden coasters and the like, 4D coasters, they're just so much more out there now that parks can get, for even for relatively cheap. And I just don't see how these Togo concepts, they, they just don't look good, to be quite honest. They just look like rehashings of old models that failed um, what do you guys think about this? I mean, please give me your input because I'm not really sure exactly what to think about this. Do you guys think this could be a success? Do you think they're going to make a big comeback? Maybe they'll just focus more on Japan. I mean, they're more well known over there and they have a better reputation. So that could be the case. What do you guys think about Togo? Have you ridden any Togo coasters? I've never ridden any myself and I would like to know what you guys think about them. Leave a comment down below about what you think about, you know, the Spike Coaster coming on Carnival Cruise Ship and this Togo comeback and the spinning coaster, the stand-up coaster concept. Let me know what you guys think because I want to hear it. I'll see you guys later. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.